Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Lilies and Blush. My name is Suzanne and thank you so much for joining me for today's video which will be my empties for mid-August which was the 7th to the 21st. Um, so about two weeks worth of wax and then I will be then showing you my next melting basket which i'm thinking should last me until the 4th of september when i will be completely moving over to fall only scents um and moving through my fall collection i may add everyday scents in there to supplement depending on how much i have but i have a lot um although i will be using it you know september october november so Three months worth possibly is what I have right now of fall scents with some stuff still coming. Um, but I think I have most everything. So anyways, um, so yeah, so that'll be what's coming up next, next. But for this video, let's dive into it. So I have my list here and it is a three pager. No, two pager, two pager. Um, yeah, so that should be a fun one to sort through. But most of these are like the recent ones to the least recent ones, right? All the way on the bottom. So should be able to just work my way up the list um, from bottom to top. But this is Tuxedo Mask. I just melted this the other day and it was really good. Actually, I wasn't sure that I would love it that much or that it would be too much rose, but the rose was there, but not too overpowering, which is nice. This was from uh, Villainous Wax and I melted it in the living room. And then we have fresh coffee from that Smell Good Shop, Dark Roasted Coffee Bean. I thought for sure this would be the one my husband really likes, but he didn't. I really loved it though. It was a really, really good scent um, in the living room. It was amazing. It comes with six little squares. And so I did three in one warmer and three in the other warmer in the open concept area of my living room. And it was amazing, but it is like a creamier coffee. It does, it does smell like made coffee like someone made up a cup of coffee uh it does not smell just like coffee beans which is what i was hoping for um was the coffee bean smell because that's what he likes is the coffee bean smell so if you know of any like coffee bean coffee smells let me know because i'm on the hunt still for the one that my husband likes so this one is sweet nikki from fantasy wax orange lime lemon grapefruit this is, um, I melted this one in the bathroom the other day and it was really a nice citrusy scent for the bathroom. This was the Skrull Prince Co. collection. That's Andre from Skrull Prince Co.'s husband. Uh, then we have Fantasy Wax Monica and Chall Challenger. Chandler. Uh, this is a D&G light blue for men type scent and... Where did that one go? Um, that was in the bedroom. Of course, I, I usually always melt the little cups in the bath, in the bathroom, in the bedroom. I cannot talk. I'm like trying to rush because I'm starting to get a little hungry just as I started this video. So <laughs> now I feel like I'm like, wow, I gotta like talk too fast. Um, yeah, so this was really good. This was like, I think I had like three of these or whatever from the Valentine's Day collection. So I've been hoarding this since February time frame, February. January, February time frame, whenever it actually shipped. So, um, and then we have Nerdy Wax, uh, Nerdy Box Ratatouille Restaurant, um, Apricot Honey and Toffee Crunch in the bedroom. Really yummy. Um, and then Fantasy Wax, Rapunzel and Flynn, Red Velvet Cake, one of my top favorite scents from Fantasy Wax. Always so good. Literally had like three or four of those. Finally finished them all off, I believe. So kind of sad about that, actually. <laughs> Going to be needing that again next Valentine's Day. Uh, Fantasy Wax Squidward Wildberry Cheesecake. I'd forgotten which one this was. I kind of just picked it up and popped it in the warmer because it was one of the last ones um, in the basket. And it was freaking bomb. As soon as I walked in, I was like, oh my god, which one is this one? And I had to go back and look. And I was like, oh, it's the Squidward Wildberry Cheesecake one. So of course, because I have a fanaticism for Wildberry Cheesecake scent don't like it's like a subtle one like a I forget about it and then I see it in a scent note and I'm like ooh, I like that I think and then I smell it and I'm like ooh, I love that so 10 out of 10 smell my husband was commenting on it too freaking loved it um such a good one so that was in the bedroom I wrote five stars next to it <laughs> then we have Nina's blend number two tea and cakes cornbread lemon pound cake fantasy wax this was the customer creation kind of 
one that she did and or that they did and um yeah i know i wrote it down just a second ago it was yummy but i mostly got lemon pound cake i want to say i actually thought this was a lemon pound cake scent so um did enjoy it though and then we have we want the redhead pipe tobacco pomegranate seeds and vanilla this one i think just somehow popped up to the top because that was a while ago that i melted that um bedroom scent yummy enjoy it it's a nice kind of like fresh scent kind of thing i don't know if you can hear my child but the windows and doors are all open because it's warm again today and i can kind of hear him playing in there <laughs> like he's singing to himself uh princess sweet pea bath and bunny works type i actually because i have so many of these i melted this together with draw which is a daisy mark jacobs type i thought those were go really good together and i was correct it was really nice in the living room i did enjoy that and then we have Bubba. I actually melted these together. Ice cream scoop bread. It's actually what I have on right now in the living room. And it smells amazing. We have Santa's on Keto from L3. And I melted that in the bathroom with the Tre Leche cake from Fantasy Wax. So yummy together. Just a nice baked good scent. Then we have Black Magic Melt Yoda, Oak Moss and Sandalwood, and Yoda Melted in the Living Room. So amazing. Love Sandalwood scents. Kit Kat, I melted this with the Hershey's Bar from Nerdy Wax, and they were amazing together. Such a good chocolatey scent. Definitely didn't smell fake. Just smelled like chocolate, like someone was melting chocolate. Um, I'm losing him. Okay, grassy pants. This was actually pretty good for a grassy scent in the bathroom. I actually enjoyed it. I might buy that in a bigger size, but specifically for the bathroom. I feel like it's a good one for the bathroom. Then we have Fantasy Wax Victoria's Blend, Blueberry Cobbler, and Lemon Pound Cake. This one did not smell as lemony. I don't remember. Let's see if I can find it on the list. Victoria, yeah, in the bedroom. I didn't have too many notes about it. I think it was just really good, but I definitely think the blueberry lemon came through and I love blueberry and lemon together. Like that scent is always so good. Uh, pistachio coconut fluff maraschino cherry don't cross streams from L3. This was a sampler and I think I just named it. Yeah, in the bathroom, super yummy. Love those pistachio scents, I've always obsessed. Strawberry cheesecake from Twin City was bathroom very good tt banana caramel cupcake i didn't melt this one by itself yeah this one i melted by itself in the living room so good nice like banana scent not too fake banana -y. uh then we have black magic han solo blue sugar vs type this is pretty good in the living room um it wasn't as strong as theirs normally where i'm kind of remembering that i don't remember it well enough like the scent normally for black magic are just like whoa there in my mind but um this one's fantasy wax fantasy wax pretzel and maple buttercream in the living room always amazing the pretzel with this was oh my gosh just absolute professor lupin mango sorbet i actually got this as a freebie in the pre-fall pre-order box with fantasy wax and i was so excited because i melted this the other day and both my husband and i were like oh my gosh that's so good it was definitely a family favorite uh amazing mango scent and it's not overly mango either it was just fruity and delicious uh salty sierra seattle rain and pink sands from l3 my husband really liked this i was iffy because there was this odd after scent i was smelling now i'm not sure it actually could have been something else going on in the house at the time, but every time I smelled it when it was melting, it was weird. So now that I'm looking back on it, I'm wondering about it, like maybe there was something else. So I'd be willing to try it again, but I'm not sure. Salty Sea or Seattle Rain was great. I I'm, I'm, need to figure out what the pink sands is because maybe it's something in there. Um, but yeah, I melted this, I believe, in the living room. I think I also melted this in the bedroom and I was like strange overly sweet smell to it is what i wrote down and i also this in the living room and the bedroom so part of it in the bedroom and then the rest in the living room and it definitely had a, a strange strangeness to it uh paradise city southbound melon blackberry citrus vanda orchid violets vanilla bean musk and i melted this i 
Where are you? Ah, there you are, in the bathroom, and it was good. So I have all that looking for no real notes. Blue Volcano, L3. This would have been in the bathroom, and I'm trying to see, where's my notes? Oh, I said yum. It is definitely yummy. This would definitely be something I'd repurchase. Uh, and then we have Crunchberry French Toast from Rose Girls. I think this was one of the... Sorry, there's emergencies happening. Um, I definitely went nose blind to this. I have like nose blind question mark. I like, I don't really remember smelling it and I spent a lot of time in the living room. So sometimes that's the only bad thing also with the living room sense. I complain like I can never smell them, but I'm thinking I go nose blind to them. So then I leave the room, I spend some time in the bedroom with the other sense and then I come back in the living room and then I can smell them usually. And then I'm like, oh, okay, there it is. But with this one, I think I just went totally nose blind to it. I'm not totally sure, but maybe coming back in, I was able to smell it a bit, but my husband did mention that he liked that one. Okay, Sweet Nikki, the first time around, I melted in the living room with Gusteau's zucchini bread to like, I don't know, I was experimenting. I was in an experimental mood and I was like, ooh, zucchini bread and then orange, lime, lemon, grapefruit, like maybe it'll be like a fruity bread, like, I don't know, just like a really good, and it was a really good scent together, actually, like I do remember enjoying that combo, um, and not like, it wasn't anything mind-blowing, but it wasn't bad either, it was actually like, nice, uh, Fantasy Wax and Nina's blend number one, I remember, this was amazing, it was so good together, mm still obsessed it's just so so good okay then we have nerdy wax tusky tuxedo oh my gosh i cannot speak tuxedo mask men's cologne and fresh cut roses uh let's see fantasy wax uh bedroom so i melted no this was not fantasy wax so that's did i write that down wrong no, this isn't, yeah, I meant Nerdy Wax and I wrote Fantasy Wax, oh my gosh. Um, this was really good in the bedroom. Scar Peanut Butter Sandwiches from Nerdy Wax. I remember this being really peanut buttery, like very much so like food smell. Um, it was really good in the bedroom. Uh, Viscount Bridgerton from Fantasy Wax Honey Buttered Rolls. Oh, this was so good. Mm-hmm. So, so good. Definitely giving me cinnamon butter vibes like no other. Then we have shadow, chocolate donuts, and pecans. I'm melting this in the bathroom right now. I went in there earlier. So strong and good. Just very, very foody, very chocolatey. Um, so kind of weird in the bathroom, but I kind of melt, excuse me, anything in there. So I'm kind of used to weird scents in there sometimes. It's like, this is kind of odd for a bathroom, but it's good. Uh, Fantasy Wax, Duke and Daphne, Tea and Cakes, so freaking amazing. Absolutely love the Tea and Cake scent from Fantasy Wax. It's always so good. Crystal Thief, Dark Amber, Cedarwood, and Saffron Seeds. This one. Mm, super yummy in the bedroom. Like, it's a good, musky, clean scent. Tobacco Shop, Twin City. This was really good in the bathroom. Pharaoh 90, Dragon's Blood, Incense, and Dark Musk. This did get a bit overpowering at one point in the bedroom. Like, I'm remembering being like, oh, I don't think I could spend, like, a long time in the bedroom hanging out. But, like, walking in, it was like, ooh, feels so, like, mystical in here or whatever. Uh, Princess, the sugar, this one I melted on its own in the living room. And it was good on its own, which is why the next time around I melted it with a draw because uh withdraw because it was so good the first time around uh two knuckle heads from villainous wax bay leaf crushed berry smoked tobacco ash and twig so good is what i wrote next to it sour patch kids type from fantasy wax this is the um and i melted ooh, i melted this with the mango and papaya <laughs> fantasy wax um samplers to help like build up the amount of wax because too little and I wouldn't get any scent and it was really good together there goes my dog again Max um a meal this was the um uh, big cheese 
um, cut of cheese and cheesecake filling and graham cracker crack graham crackers. I was gonna say graham cracker crackers. <laughs> so so good. Max, enough. You're probably just barking at Logan. Um, and then draw by itself. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I was like it was so subtle, but there, like it was. I don't even know how to describe it, but it was so amazing in the living room. It wasn't too powerful, too strong, but I smelt it and I never went nose blind to it too. And again, like I said, I think that happens fairly often in the living room for me. Um, this was in the bathroom, a blueberry pistachio L3, so freaking good. And then we have Fantasy Wax Alex's blend, maple brown sugar and sugar cookies. And this was one of the first ones I melted and it was in the bedroom and it was yummy orange grove so orangey like it was so strong and yummy in the living room i actually absolutely adored it i melted it over several days uh fantasy wax uncle jesse cool water type i had multiple of these it's so freaking good 10 out of 10 my husband even really liked it and then last nope we still have several more baggies dang I melted so much last time and then this time around the basket is also very full so fair warning it's a lot uh fantasy wax andrea's blend lemon pound cake amaretto and pie crust absolutely 10 out of 10 so good like i wrote down 10 out of 10 so good <laughs> it was like a freaking amazing i would definitely want more of that and then we have purple sandalwood from sassy girl aroma it was a little um sampler cup and I remember I actually like hoarded this one. I kept not wanting to melt it unless I was going to be home all day because I wanted to be able to enjoy it in the bathroom. It was so good. And then we have Sanctuary from Twin City. Did this one in the bathroom. Definitely very good bathroom scent. Zucchini bread and jelly filled donuts. Uh, Fantasy wax. I really like this one. I think I thought I combined this with something, but maybe I did melt it by itself because I think, oh, I think this one was a bigger square like a big chunky square. So I was able to melt it on its own. It was really good. And then cheesecake ice cream, freaking amazing. Like, oh my God, amazing in the bathroom. Absolutely loved from Twin City. Okay, so I'm gonna gather up. Ah, it's going everywhere. Come back. Um, gather up the garbage to toss. And then I will pull up the other basket there. Oh, lost one. And then this will be my new paper to start this one off. Okay. Now we have the, okay, sorry, it might creak. Oh, I hate that sound. Here's the full basket. <laughs> in there so we'll go ahead and go through every section so i have i'm still trying to i'm like a snap bar hoarder apparently i have so many so i'm still trying to get rid of a bunch and like i said earlier in the video this will be my last um sort of everyday random sense um where I'm, I'm not really like picking based on season or anything like that like all my summer scents are done for the most part uh, so I'm kind of just grabbed whatever's oldest and I'm trying to melt off my older stuff. Um, and then trying to also melt some shops that I haven't melted yet, things like that. Uh, and so trying to do that up and kind of clear up my collection a little bit, um, make space because I'll be starting fall soon. And I definitely got a lot of fall stuff going. So you'll see those hauls as well, um, up on my channel for a lot of fall stuff. Oh, okay, so let's get started. First, we have Black Magic. I'm not going to stop and smell them unless I really want to. I'll probably just go through and let you know what's in here, and then you'll get the scents and my reactions in the next, um, and my reactions to them in the next one, um, in the empties. But this one, Black Magic Melts, Mila's Unicorn, Pomegranate, or I think that's supposed to be orange, not aragni. I think I had that same problem last time. Lemon and light musk. Um, so that will be a good one. I'll just set them aside. And then we have pretzel and honey buttered, honey buttered rolls by Fantasy Wax. Zucchini bread and butter brickle. I think I'll be doing a lot of the pretzel and zucchini breads in this one because I've been hoarding those. 
Yep, zucchini bread, cornbread, and French baguette fantasy wax. That's from their corn zucchini bread and pretzel collection pre-order. That was the first pre-order they did. Uh, zucchini bread and pistachio dream cake. Oh, I'm so excited for that one because I already chopped up the loaf and did the loaf. So I'm excited that I have another bar of that. Zucchini bread and jelly filled donuts. I just melted that in that little brick that I was talking about before. So I'm excited about that one. Zucchini bread and blueberry cobbler. And then we have another Black Magic Melts Bub's Strawberry Cheesecake. So still some kind of summery vibes. Uh, Mila Sherbert. Sherbet, uh, Declan's Donuts, Glazed Cinnamon Donuts, Judy's Chunky Chipper, so it's like a chocolate chip cookie scent. Then we have Berry Fresh from Fantasy, or Fantasy Wax, Villainous Wax, Fresh Blackberry, Blueberry, and Hot Green Tea. That sounds really fruity and delicious. Then we have Black Magic Melts Reptar, or not Reptar, Rugrats, Reptar Bar, Caramel Nut Cluster, and Chocolate. I was so excited about that one. We have Zucchini Bread and Strawberry White Cake, Pretzel and Apple Butterscotch Cake, Zucchini Bread and Warm Vanilla Sugar. Oh, I'm making like a tower of wax bars. Uh, and then this one from Nerdy Wax, the Upside Down, Cedar and Oak Tree Leaves, Oak Moss and Rainwater. Nice musky scent, I'm sure. Pretzel and Fresh Coffee. So stoked about this one. Salty coffee. So good. Pretzel and Cinnamon Sugar. And lastly but not least, Melted Confetti Southern Sweet Iced Tea. So some good, like, kind of summery scents, actually. I don't know why the sweet iced tea wasn't part of my summary collection. So excited about those. I'm kind of trying to fit everything back in here in a good kind of way. I'm not sure if it'll work though. Oh, maybe should have done it the other, the other way. Oh, there we go. That kind of fit, fits a little bit better in there. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So now we have the, I'm just gonna like fold the packaging over. Now we have the wax cups here in the middle. So first we have Fantasy Wax Port Key, Amaretto Marshmallow Pie Crust. Oh, I'm so excited, I love Amaretto. Uh, Fantasy Wax Mad Eye Moody, Fresh Coffee and Coconut Cream Pie. Then we have Fantasy Wax Second Test, Salty Sierra and Fizzy Pop. Fantasy Wax Cart Bakery, Almond Biscotti, another one I'm stoked about because almond is amazing fantasy wax vanilla pea vanilla buttercream and jelly donuts Ooh, some more jelly donuts then we have fantasy wax 11 blueberry waffles so, i'm so excited i gotta stop myself almost from sniffing some of these because i'm just like oh i want to smell it fantasy wax hot fudge brownies ralph uh we wants the redhead so i have doubles of some of these from villainous wax so i'll be melting those up um, and so pipe tobacco, pomegranate seeds, vanilla. Excited about this because I really liked this one. Then we have the journal, ancient leather bound books, mahogany shelves, and fresh mud. This is an, in, that's an interesting one. In the like grassiness of it in a weird way, even though it's mahogany and leather and mud. Uh, so I'm really curious how that's going to melt. I have two of those still. So that's the first time me melting that one. Then we have Sour Patch Kids type Palace Arcade from Fantasy Wax. We have Fantasy Wax Fix It Felix Jr. Saltwater Taffy. These are mostly all Fantasy Wax. Most of my wax cups are. Fantasy Wax Hawkins Salted Caramel Coffee. Fantasy Wax King Candy Sugary Hard Rock Candy. And Fantasy Wax Avery's Favorite Cherry Slushy. I've definitely been kind of hoarding that one. Then we have Crystal Thief. This was another one of my really favorite ones out of the ones that I got from Villainous Wax. Dark Amber, Cedarwood, and Saffron Seeds. Such a good musky scent. And then Fantasy Wax Dark Court Mall, Cherry Slushy, and Mountain Dew. So pretty on the glitter. Okay, so that is everybody. Oops, I'm hitting the camera. My bad. Bouncing you around. Trying to get all of this to fit in here again. 
I don't even know how I did that last time. Maybe I did something like this. I don't know. Does everybody go back? Go back to your places. <laughs> okay, and then I might have just had it all piled up to four. Okay, there we go. All right, and then last but not least, the mixed bag of stuff in <laughs> here. So first we have Harry Potter, tea and cakes, blackberry butter, jam co and jam cookies, vanilla sugar, waffle cone from Sassy Girl Aroma. It's my first time melting a bar from her that I purchased on directly from her shop. Um, I got like de-stashed ones before of older ones, but this is the first time melting the newer ones, brand new one that I got. Um, and I'm super excited about it. Harry Potter. Uh, I figured because like beginning of September, um, I'll still be melting this. I might save this for that like for September 1st and melt it on September 1st for fun. And then I did finally decide to melt Khaleesi from Teddy's B Teddy Bee's Wax. It's another one I got from a D-Stash. And I love it so much. It's Palo Santo, Tonka Bean, and Ward Wood and Wood. Warm Vanilla Sugar and Fireside. It's so good. And this week, today actually, the 21st when I'm filming this, um, the new House of Dragons show is starting. So I figured it'd be fun to melt that for in celebration of a new game of thrones you know show uh in the golden afternoon from villainous wax freesia and peony petals mixed with crisp greenery a little wax shell and then we have l3 strawberry pound cake and zucchini bread of course just freaking amazing scent in the cloud cake form then nerdy wax we have oh making a mess over here uh nerdy wax we have the three part scents i thought these would be good in the bathroom um so t-rex dragon dragon's blood and pine trees raptors mixed berry cheesecake and then dominus rex is sparkling clean fragrance jasmine and warm musk um yeah i'm excited to melt those finally because they were all good scents when i got them and then we have wit and wax french toast golden fried bread with sweet churned butter syrup and powdered sugar so excited about that one too so it's a really good scent so there we go i should remember how i fit everything in here <laughs> i don't think yeah there we go i did it that way um yeah i don't know how to fit everything back in there <laughs> All right, there we go, that works. Okay, so here is my melting basket for the next two weeks and yeah, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.